Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Eat With More Love. Thank you for watching today. I have hijacked the channel today. I wanted, there was a few things I needed to say and I wanted to say um, in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. whose birthday is today. Um, what I did was I Googled and I found out some of his favorite foods. As you all could probably guess, his favorite food is soul food. And um, I came across the facts that he liked fried chicken, greens, and yams. He also had a favorite dessert, which was... Ah, pecan pie, and they didn't have any pecan pie where I went, so I got a little pecan pie from Walmart. Please don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, the food came from Bankhead, Mississippi-style soul food uh, in San Diego, California, and um, I'm going to say a little prayer. And then I'm going to dig in. Amen. All right. So I hope everyone is having a great start of their week. Um, it is Dr. King's birthday today. And hopefully you're not working. Hopefully you're out enjoying the day. I have some sweet tea as well. Hope you're out enjoying the day and enjoying the holiday. It is a national holiday. Um, so some people get it off and some don't. But I'm going to dig in and start eating. Mmm, delicious yams. Very, very good. I am hungry. This is for my uh, first time I'm eating today, so I'm really hungry. Probably going to make a bit of a mess, so don't be afraid. <laughs> I was inspired on today to make this video for a couple of reasons. One being that, of course, as I said before, it is Dr. King's birthday. Another was just um, taking some time to look at how far we've come uh, since the 60s and how far we need to go. And, you know, there's been progress. Um, of course, not enough progress. Um, something that really did inspire me. By the way, I have some hot sauce over here that my niece made me before she left San Diego back to Arizona. I'm going to pour this on this chicken because it was so good. And I just love it. Dripping with deliciousness. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. Nothing like southern fried chicken. So yeah, um, an incident happened to me on Thursday at work. And I kind of wanted to talk about it because it just does have to do with race and... Um, Mm, my mouth was full. <laughs> um, it did have to do with race. It um, involved somebody that I report directly to that I've had issues, unfortunately, with race in the past. Um, this particular individual, when I first began 
working there, um, did some things that were um, out of character. I, I mean, I am in my 50s, closer to 60, and I've never experienced anything like that in my life. So it was very surprising. What she did was, um, my back was to her, and I was hooking up a computer for another co-worker, and basically, she put a white envelope on her head and said I look like a Ku Klux Klan member. Needless to say, my mouth fell open. I was in total shock. There were a couple of other people in the room, and none of us said anything. Um, I felt really uncomfortable. I did not know what to do at that time, um, but I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything until later, until other incidents began to happen. I really wish I would have spoken up because I think it's important that we speak up when these things happen because if we ignore them, you know, it's it's just like um, sweeping it under the rug. You know, if we ignore it, sweep it under the rug, um, nobody says anything, then you don't bring it to light. And I'm pretty much a private person. I don't like controversy. I don't like confronting people. But, you know, um, I felt really bad that I didn't say anything at the time it happened. So little things continue to happen with this particular individual. Um, she had accused another black male employee of committing basically a sexual act in front of her. Whether it happened or it didn't happen really isn't in any of my business. But when it concerned me was when um, she, in a room with other people, decided to disclose this whole incident to me. You know, I listened. Again, I was new at that time and I didn't want to say anything, um, but this, this um, enclosing me in this room happened about four or five times where she told other employees and she was angry and she was, you know, she was revengeful. Um, I was really surprised because, you know, you're a supervisor and that's an HR issue. It has nothing to do with other employees. So, you know, that was another incident that happened. Little things that would um, happen were, you know, um, if anything uh, at work had to do with, say, a black doctor. I would say, oh, Dr. So-and-so didn't upload his files. And she would say, Ooh, he has the nicest, dark, smooth, black skin. And I would just be like, okay, what does that have to do with his work? And I, I did not address that either. There were a lot of little incidents like that to the point where I did file a, a uh, racial um, a discrimination, a state racial discrimination suit. Um, but it seemed to get better, so I decided to withdraw that. I just wanted to work and not have to deal with that. Um, recently, and like I said, on Thursday, on a conference call with other people, she decides that she wants to talk about a movie, a racially um, motivated movie about race, um, she singled me out on the call and asked me, had I seen it? Well, needless to say, I did not want to talk about race with this person. So basically, I, I didn't say anything and thank goodness a co-worker changed the subject. So, um, I did report that incident because I, I just thought common sense would have told you that, you don't need to discuss race with me. 
Basically, um, she said that she wasn't aware that blacks were treated that way, that she didn't know what century she was born in. Well, this woman is my age. We're both over 50. And if you don't know now, I can't teach you. And I'm the, not the one to teach you. So basically, I just wanted to say in light of it being Martha Luther King's birthday, someone who stood up for civil rights, who fought for our rights. Um, you know, we want to choose our battles wisely. You know, we don't want to yell every time we think something like that has happened. But we don't want to ignore it either because ignoring it is not going to bring about change. And, you know, Dr. King, he, he sacrifices life for us, you know, and we need to continue. I have six beautiful grandkids. <clears throat> Never would I have thought that they would still be dealing with this in their lifetime. Um, I thought that, you know, people would just be judged, as Dr. King said, off their character and not the color of their skin. So I didn't want to make this into anything too negative or, you know, um, too racial. But I just wanted to say that, you know, we all need to make a difference. We all need to teach our kids um, that we can all get along. You know, it's a big world. Um, the climate um, of race right now is not very good because of, you know, the president, unfortunately. But we're, go we're going into another election soon. So I'm hoping and I'm hopeful that all that will change. Um, that Dr. King fought for our rights, um, that it, he didn't fight in vain, fight in vain, you know? So, yeah, um, again, I'm just enjoying this meal. I'm gonna put some of this on these greens because it'll, uh, spice them up a little bit. But again, I hope you all are absolutely enjoying your uh, Martin Luther King Day, having some fun, going out and doing something um, in his memory, maybe um, a march or a parade or, you know, just supporting one another, no matter what color you are, no matter what color you are. Um, just getting along and just realizing that this is a wonderful world we live in and we can even make it a better world if we just take time to understand each other, understand our neighbor, you know, um, and just get along. Absolutely just get along. Um, I want to thank you guys. Mm. for watching. I also want to ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell so that you will be notified of new videos. I'm sure the next video you see, you'll be eating with more love. She'll be back. I just wanted to hijack her uh, video just to say, um, enjoy your Martin Luther King holiday. Remember the reason for the holiday. And uh, let's all get along. We're neighbors. We, we live together. We work together. We go to school together. Um, anyway, have a good day. Remember, eat with more love.